Now, breaking news from RTV6. And good evening, everyone. We begin with breaking news right now. A local family suffering in a tremendous loss grows. A second person has died after a fire last night on the city's south side. Authorities say 82-year-old Henderson Wyrick died this afternoon. 72-year-old Betty Bradley already died from the fire that happened near Thompson Road and Carson Avenue. The two victims, brother and sister. RTV6's Katie Hines has more. Neighbors are shaken after witnessing a fire that turned fatal. 72-year-old Betty Bradley lived in this Southside house with her 82-year-old brother and 51-year-old son. The family has lived on Duane Drive for five years in what neighbors describe as a tight community. The flame sparked before 8.30 Saturday night. Neighbor Duane Unver saw, saw the fire across the street and called 911. He was one of several people who ran to help. The group helped the man in his 80s, an Air Force veteran who was in a wheelchair out of the house. But they couldn't get to Betty, and neither could her son. The smoke was too heavy. It's just a tragic situation for the family, and at this point, uh, we just, you know, ask for everybody's prayers for the remaining uh, re occupants that are in the hospital. Firefighters from Indianapolis and Beach Grove were able to rescue Betty and get the flames under control in five minutes. Crews are investigating but think unattended smoking materials might be to blame. The fire caused $225,000 in damage. Neighbors confirmed the family had just replaced the roof and siding last week. All three family members were taken to Eskenazi Hospital. Neighbors described them as quiet and kind. Katie Hines. RTV6. And the fire department says the house did have working smoke detectors. Betty Bradley's 51 year old son, who was in the house during yesterday's fire, is in good condition at Eskenazi Hospital.